Hey YouTube, um, here's an update. Um, I just got back from a week's vacation with my mom. Had a great time. I was totally needing, totally needing it. Not so burnt out now. Um, last video wasn't too, um, too positive, but it kind of turned around a few days after I posted that. My mood kind of goes one week, it can be great, and stable the next week it's not um really depends on the week <laughs> um luckily i was afraid for the few, those few days because i really was heading into a bad funk and bad depression now i'm surviving actually um mood is okay eating disorder wise not good at all um probably getting to a point where it's probably been, never been this bad um, I am losing weight which is good because obviously I need to but people love and they cheer me on and they're like oh so happy but um, yeah they don't realize what I'm really doing to lose the weight um, Partly because I keep them in the dark. And my family has this thing that they know the eating disorders be going on. They see the food disappearing. They hear me in the bathrooms. But no one ever confronts me or says anything to me about it. Um, I, think they, I think they are at the point where they just don't know what to do because there is literally no help available right now for me anywhere so it's kind of like why there's nothing they can do so why why bring it up I guess I'm not really sure which my eating disorder loves because I can stay sick I can cover it up I lie all the time every day I lie which is sad because it's the eating disorder has made me a liar, has made me manipulate, made me do things that my old, my real personality would never do. Um, I'm sort of kind of all over the place behavior wise, like I'm binging and purging, usually at night, but binging and purging. I even got, this is kind of weird, but I even got my doctor to switch my stomach meds that's was that did work and made purging very hard because it kept my the medications made to not make you have reflux or throw up as easy but I got it switched to a lesser drug that doesn't work as well so I often get heartburn and often have reflux because I have reflux and the spasms and my esophagus is a mess but yeah so I got her to switch to a lesser drug just to make purging easier again um, it is kind of messed up because I often don't feel good after I eat if I do keep something down which I do obviously but um, yeah so I've actually manipulated that again so I don't have to so I can make it much easier to purge now I can purge like everything so easy it's like eating disorder. I love it. Um, and then I'm also I still have a massive abuse, a massive issue with abusing diuretics. Um, laxatives I kind of go in spurts where I go crazy with them and then I'll run out. So then I then I don't can't get to the store by myself to get more. So I kind of go all over the place with laxatives, but. At least the diuretics, especially right, right, eating disorder and Weight Watchers is meshed together in this weird manipulate. I manipulate stuff to lose weight faster and to. So, especially right before Thursdays when I get weighed in, I go crazy with the diuretics, getting every possible ounce off my system. Um, yes, yeah, so it's kind of like, okay. And almost to the point where I get abused them so much that I make myself physically ill because you're not supposed to take that many prescription um, diuretics that 
much at a time in 24 to 48 hour period. Almost to the point of overdosing, which I have to be really careful because I came close to passing out a few times because I took way too many. So I'm kind of trying to control it enough to get the water weight off, but to get the water weight off, but then to not abuse them because I can only abuse them certain days a week because I only get a month's supply. We're supposed to take one extra a day prescribed to me because of the at my higher weight I had the edema and I still do off and on my depending on how well my kidneys are functioning um but I can go through like a bottle of 30 in a week so it depends on how bad I abuse them but I tend to abuse them just before now I've got a down pat that I only abuse them I save them during the week and then I take them like Tuesday Wednesday and then get weighed Thursday and then I'll be good and then I'll stop for a week and give my body a break because I do feel physically ill if I take a, a, certain amount, a, a certain amount in 24 hours. Yeah, not good. And then I have a new toy which I'll probably show you. I got an exercise bike and I got an amazing deal on it. So that was like my splurge that my mom bought me and now but like me yes exercise is good and need to exercise yes I understand that but I tend to get obsessive and I push myself way too hard to the point of exhaustion um so it's kind of like eh, good that I'm exercising bad to the degree like I'll get up in the middle of the night like at 2 a.m. 3 a.m just to jump on the bike for an hour or half an hour, usually half an hour to 45 minutes. Just to burn calories in the middle of the night, especially if I binged earlier that evening um, and purged. I just want to make sure I get all the calories out. So, yeah, so it's kind of sketchy again. Like, I can't, it's always all or nothing. It's either none at all or it's gone crazy. Yeah. So, and I'm trying not to restrict my, like, desire to restrict and not eat is so high. But that I find it leads to a binge, like always, the cycle begins, you starve yourself and then you go crazy. So I'm trying to eat a couple times a day just to keep my metabolism up. But then doing exercise and, yeah, it's kind of a big crazy ball of... I don't know what my weight's doing because I was, I had gained a little bit, but then I had lost it a little bit and then, but I'm losing inches for sure because my clothes are literally falling off of me and I only bought them less than four weeks ago. So if I, I haven't been weighed in two weeks and I managed to stay pretty stable the last two weeks I had a plateau so I was kind of maintaining and not losing or gaining anything. So I don't know what my weight's doing now, but I'm down to like five sizes in clothes. I went from like a 32, I'm now in a 24, 22. So like, it depends, it depends on the clothes, but I'm mostly 24 now, so, which I haven't been since at least in the last three years. And I measured my measurements, which I haven't done in almost um, six months. I had just around my stomach, I've lost 10 inches. So, I mean, I'm losing weight, which is really good, and I feel much better, but it's just kind of thrown the eating disorder, kind of gone crazy. And, like, I can do really good all day and, like, eat healthy choices and follow the Weight Watchers thing, but then at night, the binge monster comes out, I swear. And then it's always like late midnight to 11 o'clock. I just want to eat. And then I have to like fight myself. Screaming, you can't eat because you know if you have a snack after 8 p.m. You're going to turn into a binge. Because that's what happens with me. I'll start off with a little snack like a granola bar or a fruit. And then I just start eating and keep going and keep going. And then it turns into a massive binge. And then it ends up purging of course. So like night is like my deadly territory 
So yeah, that was pretty much what's going on. Um, I have a huge eating disorder foundation of Canada fundraiser in an hour away from here in London, Ontario to Wednesday and I go down tomorrow night. Um, which is good because we're getting really close at opening the treatment center. We're getting there slowly. So I'm trying to stay somewhat stable um, till it opens so I can go for help. Because the reality is I know I need help but part of me just wants to stay sick and lose weight. So it's kind of messed up brain. That's about it. Um, it's 11 months ago yesterday my dad passed away. It was really hard. I really miss him. The more the one, closer the one year anniversary gets, the more I miss him. The more I wish heaven had a phone, just to hear his voice, just to talk. Yeah. So that's about it. Um, that's an update. I'm gonna put a trigger warning on this because yeah, I kind of went into detail about behaviors. So I'll talk to you later. I hope everyone's doing okay. Bye.